Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and today is pirate hunting day. I got this challenge from Holly at Kingdom Planning and we are working with $50, 10, 25, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And I did make one correction uh, last time when I played this, I did um, where I defeated a pirate. And when I do that, I needed a transfer five dollars over from my merchant folder to my booty and i did go ahead and fix that already and we did end off where we um had gotten our ship sunk so i need to go ahead and purchase another uh, ship so i'm going to pull out those cards i'm going to mix these up and then i'm going to pull one which is the frigate is that how you pronounce it so that is going to be our boat so let me go Get out a marker and write that down. And that is going to cost us $4. So I'm going to grab $4 and put that in my merchant folder. Okay. And then we can go ahead and set this card aside because we are done with it. And I will put the $4 into my merchant folder. Okay, here are my cards that I need to draw from. So I'll go ahead and shuffle them up. And we are gonna go on a treasure hunt. So let me go ahead and go to that page and see if we have anything to buy anything. We don't because I don't have any spices. So I cannot buy anything at the treasure hunt. So let's go ahead and put that back in and shuffle up again and see what we'll be doing. And we are going to be doing a land battle. So during a land battle, we um, roll, me and the enemy roll a dice and the best out of three wins the battle. So mine is going to be the multicolored. My enemy is going to be the solid color. So the enemy has one on me. The enemy has two on me. So he actually won. And with the land battle, if they win one, nothing happens. I don't get any money and I don't think um, nothing happens. Like they don't take anything from me. So th that just means that one's done. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, we are gonna go to a port. And in order for us to go to a port, we have to pay two of these goods and one sugar. So that puts us down to six and two sugar. And then let's see which port we're going to go to. We are going to go to port Santo Domingo. So let's see what we can buy from here. And there's no key, so I don't win any treasure. But let's go ahead and see what we can purchase here. I want to go ahead and purchase all the spices so that leaves this one at zero and that costs me six dollars so five six and that puts me at two spices and let's buy two sugar so that puts it at three four and i gotta put four dollars Um, let's buy some of these goods here. Let's buy five of them. So that puts them at zero and it puts me at five and it'll cost me $10. Um, let's see here. Let's do a specialty item. Let's do one. So that'll put me at two and that'll cost me $4. Two three four okay i think i will go ahead and stop there and we go ahead and put this money into the merchant and let's go ahead and draw another card to see what we're going to be doing and we're going to go to another port so again, that is going to cost us two of these goods and one sugar. 
So we got to go down to four and three and let's see what port we're going to go to. Let's go here, Port Royal. Okay, let's see what we can buy at Port, Port Ro Royal. Let's see here. And we do have a key. So when we have a key, that means we do find one of our um, treasures that we have, which we have Black Beach. So let's go ahead and cross that off that we have found that. And we get to draw a card, I believe. Because we did a treasure hunt, we found one of our treasures, so we get to see how much money we are going to win. And that is seven, seven dollars. So we get to move seven dollars over from our merchant to our booty. So five, seven being transferred over. And let's go back over there and see if we can buy anything. Let's go ahead and buy five of these cannonballs. So then that puts us at five and it'll cost us $5. And let's buy a spice. So seven, and that'll put us at three, and that'll cost us $3. Um, let's go ahead, I don't have change for that. So let's do let's do a specialty item. So that'll put it at zero, cost us four. So Okay, let's go ahead and put that money over into my merchant folder. And we will go ahead and draw another card to see what we're gonna be doing. And we get to do a lost relative. So let's see if we have enough items to buy the information for a lost relative. Let's see here, do we have anything to buy? We could buy the grand uh, information for the grandfather. Let's buy the information for the grandfather. And that cost us three spice. We have no spice and one specialty item. So that puts us down to two. We're gonna go ahead and cross that one out. And the way, only way we can find them is if we end up going to Trinidad. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle up again. Okay. And we're gonna go to another port and that will cost us two of these goods. So that puts us down to two and a sugar. And let's see which port we're gonna go to this time. It'd be kind of fun if we went to Trinidad. Let's draw this one and we're going to go to St. Martin. Here's St. Martin and we do have another key. So that means we found our other treasure here. And we get a draw to see how much we won. So let's shuffle this up and draw one from the middle. And we got five. So we get a transfer five over from our merchant to our booty. All right, what do I wanna buy at St. Martin? We could buy, we have $10 left. So I definitely wanna buy some of these. Let's buy five of these and that would cost us $5 and that put us at seven. And then let's buy one sugar. So that puts us at three and that is $7. So I can spend three more dollars. So let's buy a spice and that gives us our, um, we spent a total of $10 and we can put that one in the merchant.
what else we can do here. We're out of money, so let's go ahead and draw a new card and see what we're going to be doing. Okay, let's shuffle up. Let's draw one from the center here. And we're going to a port, but since we don't have any more money, um, I'm not going to go to a port. So I think I will just go ahead and stop there. And that is all that we have for Pirate Hunting Friday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend um, where I'm actually going to a wine festival. So I will be going with a couple friends and my daughter-in-law and my daughter. So we, I'm sure, will have a great time. Let me know down below what you guys have planned and I'll talk to you later. Bye.